Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. Um, this is going to be a real quick general reading. I don't know who it's for or what it's about, um, but we will find out together. All right, let's say a quick blessing and we'll get rolling. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us all here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. I am going to start with this borderless tarot. See, it's 333 on the Google clock over there. I have the lovers out on its side, the six of wands on its side, the devil on its side. <laughs> Wow. And the magician on its side. Let's just take a little gander at this, shall we? Okay. So I, you know, when I sat down to do this reading, I, the first thing I thought to myself when I was like, I was turning on this light, I was lighting these candles. I just came in from work. Um, I'm a Reiki practitioner. So I was like all zenned out and peaceful. And I sat down here at the table and I thought, man, you really can't put a price tag on peace. You know, it's so nice to feel peace. It's, it's, I think it's better than even feeling happiness because happiness comes and it goes. But if you can strive to create peace in your life, I think you're on track. And then as I sat here, just getting ready to turn the camera on, all of a sudden I had this feeling come over me here in my heart chakra. And it was like this, it was like almost like a gut punch of like, overwhelming sadness or it's like a longing I think that I was feeling in my chest and I was like I don't know what that's about we better start recording soon and these cards um it feels like I have someone here who is <sighs> trying to get someone either to notice them or trying to get someone to love them this they're all out on their side here this I've got the lovers that's this can be about a very significant love relationship in your life i have this six of wands that's on inside this is someone who's not sure that they're going to win this person's affections they're not sure that they're going to get through this and i've got the devil on this side very similar energy to the lovers mind you um but it can be about obsession it can be about uh, I, feeling all, just overcome almost with love for someone and then I've got this magician over here on its side and this is someone who's not even sure they want the right person they don't even know they want the right thing I feel like whoever I'm reading for you may be loving someone from a distance and I mean feel free to flip-flop these energies any which way you want because um, I don't know if I'm reading your energy the person who's watching here or if I'm reading someone that you have on your mind or that you'll know you'll know Let's see here. I've got the emperor on the bottom of the deck. Of course we do. That's divine masculine energy. I've got the ace of cups under that. And I have this high priestess man. And there's the ace of swords. Holy frijoles. And there's the three of wands. That's the minor arcana of the magician for me as a reader. Darn it all. This person really... <laughs> this person is really thinking hard about a relationship. They're thinking hard about a person whoever we're just going to call this person the divine masculine because that's what this emperor energy represents it's aries energy but it's um divine masculine energy the other majors you have out here are ophiuchus aries pisces gemini taurus and capricorn but i don't think it matters in the slightest unless it matters to you this person has loved i was right this person has secret feelings and they haven't told anybody how they feel about someone here and their heart is like overflowing. The Ace of Cups to me can represent the heart chakra. It can represent a love relationship. It can represent a, a relationship we have with a higher power. I think it's all of the above with this person, whoever they are. For some reason, whoever this masculine energy is, whoever they have these feelings for, um, I guess they feel like they would have to start over again in their lives if they were to go towards this person or they may feel like they've been, they, they may feel um, insecure in the sense that they, um, whoever they're, they have on their mind here may have 
made them feel like smaller than they're used to feeling in some way. I have the 10 of wands. This is complete overwhelm. This is somebody who says, I can't stand it another day. Now, the good news is whoever this emperor energy is, it seems like they have um, a desire to have a commitment with whoever is on their mind. I'm going to do some digging into who that person is in just a minute, but they have a desire for a major commitment, possibly even marriage with this person. That's what that hierophant energy rep represents. Um, and they have a desire to communicate. I can hear the train in the distance. But at this point, they're completely overwhelmed by feelings that they have for someone. It does feel like a longing. Ah. Uh, uh, this three of wands is an energy of manifestation and having it out here with this magician this person has tried everything they can think of to get this person to come towards them i don't know why they haven't just sent a message i mean that seems like the logical choice but i don't know people do the strangest things when it comes to love right there is something, for some reason, and, and maybe this is why, for some reason, whoever this masculine energy is, they feel like they need to, I'm seeing somebody like tamping something down, but I think it's like hide the feelings that they have for whoever they have feelings for. Um, or they did feel like they had a need to do that for some reason. But I have the two of wands here with this judgment card. Darn it all. There's the ace of pentacles. Woo. Yep. Um this this emperor energy is now ready for partnership they weren't for whatever reason before i'm gonna find out but they've had some kind of eye-opening experience something that has just shown a light on the truth for them of who they love why they love this person restricted communication here Let me get another deck. I would love to know who's on the other side of this. This is going to be great. I love this reading already. And I think it, it's just so sweet. Like the energy is very sweet, but it is kind of tortured. Almost like, I don't know, something Shakespearean. Maybe you guys have like a very intense connection. Let's dig. Let's see. I'm going to use this Super Lunaris Tarot. There's the High Priestess again. You may have a telepathic relationship with someone here. If you're this divine masculine energy watching this, um, you're very psychically gifted. Um, this, this, this person that you've come across here, whoever this is that you're so in love with, that may have sparked this um, new psychic development, like third eye energy for you. Um, there's Pisces there twice. have the ten of pentacles here on its side like i said there's somebody here there was that page of pentacles right there um where someone feels like or they felt like if they were to come towards this other person whoever they're so overwhelmed with love feelings for um they they feel like they would have lost a lot well what has changed here let me see They've had to make a difficult decision and they've had to stop caring what other people say. What? True. Um, this, this is kind of major, major changes for whoever this um, emperor is. Um, they had to make a tough call. They had to make a tough decision and they had to really search it out within themselves. They really did because I've got the two of swords here right on top of this two of wands. For whatever reason, they weren't ready for partnership when they first met this person. And so they sat on their feelings and they sat on their feelings until their feelings grew to something that they just couldn't carry around by themselves anymore. It's like an overwhelming amount of emotion. And for a long time, they must have been very worried about either their reputation or um, what their friends, their family, their neighbors were going to say about this situation. And it looks like they don't care anymore. Well, well. And there's the Ace of Pentacles again. 
I have the star card under that. That's Aquarius energy. Nice. More about that in a moment. The page of swords. This is somebody who is ready to talk, ready to have a conversation. Okay, who who is this um, emperor so enamored with here? I gotta know. Okay, well that doesn't help me anymore because I have the Emperor out again with the Ace of Swords again and the Ten of Wands again. The only thing that's new information here is this Six of Swords and that tells me that they're at a distance from this person. Um, this person, whoever this Emperor is, they may have recently relocated or changed um, you know, residences. Um, they may live at a distance from whoever they are fixated on here. Um, everything else is a repeat. Yes, they're ready to communicate. Yes, they're ready for some kind of a major commitment. Yes, they're completely overwhelmed with feelings. And yes, they are still this emperor energy, divine masculine energy. Okay. KK. Oh, you got the 10 of cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, that's marriage energy. You've got commitment in marriage. You've got a lot of happiness here. You can have a family being created here or a blended family coming together here with that 10 of cups. Um, and whoever this reading is for or about, they have every intent. If, if, if you're this masculine energy watching this, I can tell you feel like this person is like a solid partner for you, a solid deal, a solid person. Um, and if you are watching, like kind of cross watching about this emperor, this person has every intention of doing things the right way. Okay, I like all of that. I have the King of Swords, um, and I saw the King of Pentacles a minute ago for our emperor, also Cancerian energy, and the devil again. So I've got the devil twice, there's the moon, and this King of Swords energy. So somebody in here has Capricorn or Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's Aquarius here as like um, zodiac sign indicators as like this person may have, may be one of those zodiac signs or they may have that heavily in their birth chart. Also that page of swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This person has been through it. Whoever this emperor is, they have recently, and there's the king of wands. We're really not even, and there's the four of wands, nice. And there's the six of cups, nice. And there's the three of wands again. Um, this masculine energy has been through it. They have just experienced some kind of major fallout in their lives. And I think, um, I think that's what's done this change. That's what's made this change. I got to know what that tower was about. Um, that six of cups is soulmate energy. That four of wands is divine counterpart, um, spiritual union energy. It can also be marriage. You got marriage, marriage, marriage. Um, this emperor energy, this masculine energy is brave in a way they haven't been in a very long time. This is someone who's ready to take action about this. Um, they were saying, I've always had some little um, good angel, bad angel on my shoulders. Like this person has been having, feels like they've been being nudged um, to, to make this, um, to, to make this communication, make this, commu I don't know if that's a real sentence. They've been urged to communicate. Um, since this tower moment, whatever this major upheaval has been for them, they've been spending a lot of time alone. Mm -hmm. They may have recently separated from another relationship or something. Yes, I have the Ten of Swords. Um, in regards to that tower, they may have just ended another relationship. Okay.
And there's the death card under that. So the Ten of Swords is the minor arcana of the death card for me as a reader and most readers. Um, this was a spiritual ending as well as a physical ending for these two, um, whoever they were. So this person has probably physically relocated. They've probably moved house. Um, there was some kind of moment where their life changed very quickly and now they feel like they can start communicating with whoever this person is on the other side of all these tremendous obsessive love feelings they're having for someone over here who is it that they have all these feelings for because I've got the nine of pentacles here I've got the nine of pentacles here um just look at me I guess I'm gonna grab this other deck over here um I've got the sun card under that that's Leo energy they may have their attention focused on someone with Leo in their chart and there's the six of wands right when I cut it that was one of the first cards out for this person and there's the emperor on the bottom of the deck. Boy, howdy, they are really hoping that whoever it is they wanna reach out to and talk to is gonna to respond to them well. Um, you've got this knight of swords right here and they're expecting to have a little bit of conflict when they reach out to this person. All right, I don't know why that is, but that's the feeling. And there is that Six of Swords and there's that Sun card. They would be so happy to have an opportunity to send this message. Boy, I hope that they do. If you are this emperor watching this reading and you're like, wow, that sounds like my situation. I really hope that you make um, contact with whoever it is you have so heavily on your mind here because this is, this is spiritual union here. This is a lot of happiness and this is a very healthy and happy relationship that can begin here. This Ace of Pentacles um, is is pretty much my favorite card to get in any reading you guys know if you watch my readings I repeat myself constantly because um, I'm old I can't help it someday you might be old too um, but this ace of Pentacles is a solid brand new start for someone and really it's something you can take to the bank you can invest in it because you know it's gonna become something even greater it's fantastic energy I have the magician. They may have an Ophiuchus on their mind. You know that Ophiuchus would be someone who was born between November 29th and December 17th. So it's right between a Scorpio and a Sag. Um, because this magician's come out multiple times. I've got the Queen of Wands there. Um, they think this person is maybe whoever this emperor is they think whoever they've they want to reach out and talk to here may already be occupied or they may have just turned their back on love entirely maybe that's why we have these kind of stormy skies behind this um knight of swords energy here and i've got leo out there again okay um definitely there's been a major breakup here This person has really struggled to make the decision like, how can I approach this person with the least amount of conflict? Wow, this person's really afraid that there's gonna be some kind of conflict. I don't think there would be. There's that high priestess again. Um, you guys feel the same way about one another and whoever is on the other side of this, this feminine energy, I'm assuming, um, and it's not about your gender, you know, whoever's on the other side of this, um, they are really, um, hoping for communication from this masculine. I'm hearing a lot of things with this. I've got the Ten of Swords there again. And there's the Queen of Cups. Um, whoever it is that they want to start this up with, um, there's the Judgment card again. Um, they're they're a real sweetie pie. They're a real real sweet, kind, loving person. Like I'm hearing everybody says so. Um, there's someone who's very nurturing, someone who has a lot of love to give to others, and they give very kindly um, to others. That's that Queen of Cups energy. With this Page of Wands in the reverse, um, I don't know that I wanna say that out loud. Um, instantly, I, I don't wanna say it out loud. They may be a little insecure about something. Um, yeah. 
they're ready for partnership here. There's a, there's a lot of sexual feelings with this two of wands and that's out here a couple of times. Um, there's some insecurity there. Okay. And there's the death card again. This masculine energy may be reaching out during Scorpio season. Um, this is going to be a reunion um, in the past. Whoever this feminine energy was would have viewed this as a third party situation. But I think that third party situation is no longer. Um, I think that's what the, I think that's where the conflict is coming from. I think this masculine has to tell this feminine what's happened in their lives. And um, there's been some conflict. It's like they have to, it's not so much that they're worried about having conflict with this feminine energy. It's that they have to tell them the truth about what they've gone through. And there's been some, some challenging storms to weather here in the recent past. Um, this masculine is in the process of moving, if not right now, or they just have. With that Six of Swords, that's the second or third time that's come out. And there's the Ace of Swords. This feminine, this is the like the fourth time or third time. However many decks we've used is how many times this has come out. I just saw 2112 on the counter. Um, whoever this feminine is, they're hoping for this communication. So if you're this masculine, this feminine is going to be really happy to hear from you. I've got the Devil out there. I've got Temperance out here as well. And I've got the Star card again. You guys are all going to be real happy about this. There's the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Both of them. And there's the Ten of Cups again. Um, this is a perfect, perfect, wonderful situation. Obviously, nothing's perfect, and I get that. But this is what both of you have been waiting for for a very long time. And I feel almost like emotional about this because there's a lot of love between the two of you. And you guys are going to create a beautiful life together. I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect. <laughs> but coming together, it makes sense. It's like divine timing. Um, it's all about this communication. And this communication needs to come from this emperor energy. So if you are the emperor energy that's watching this, it's your job to send this message. Because this feminine energy, I think they think you're still in a relationship with someone else. And they're not going to know until you tell them otherwise. All right. All right. That was your reading for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do it. See you later.